one of the greatest things I've ever been a part of. University of Minnesota student Yana Petrus just won't shut up about her study abroad trip. I just had such a great time there. Yana got to spend a semester in Italy, and much of her time was spent in the seaside towns of Cinque Terre. Five tiny villages nestled into the cliffs, overflowing with charm that brings you in and a light that sets you free. The kind of place that postcards wish they were from. It's just very like one of a kind and it's like the like the colors of the place and the the ocean. I don't know. I like I can I've never really been able to like put my finger on why I love it so much. What Yana can put her finger on is her computer to show you more pictures. But now listen to why she really won't shut up about it. There are five towns in Italy that were two of them were destroyed by mudslides. <gasps> This is what Cinque Terre looked like on October 25th after 22 inches of rain were dumped on those steep cliffs in four hours. Six people died. And the villages of Vernazza and Monterosso were nearly destroyed and Yana would soon be there. I had still seen the videos like continually online and I was like, it just hit me one day. I'm like, okay, I need to get involved. Like, An unusual reaction from someone just visiting. But Yana's been going there with her family since she was nine. Really wanted to like get involved in a way that I could actually show my support in my own personal way. Since she's a graphic design student, she started making buttons, then t-shirts, eventually starting her own charity, Students for Cinque Terre. Didn't know if it was gonna go over well. <laughs> like having this random American girl come in and be like, I'm gonna help you guys. It did work. And now that she's back home in Stillwater. That actually looks really sweet. She's still at work. One, two. Her promotion on three. social media keeps her charity going. Perfect. The t-shirts she designed are sold out in both Minnesota. Are we ready for this? And Italy. <laughs> when she could have been like most students and spent her time abroad as a tourist, Yana became a local and made a difference, which is why now that she's back. Oh, my time there. Oh. She still won't shut up about it. Oh, I just felt like so incredibly happy. Like to be able to help out in that way and like actually really make a difference to that, to them. In Stillwater and Cinque Terre, Mitch Pittman, 5 Eyewitness News.